Jeff Driscoll back, yeah. obviously helpful that he's been with you most of the year to be yeah. able to be in this position. Yeah, he knows the offense. He's ready to go. Was uh, did, did, Is Amari dinged up at all, or is, is you just bringing in people because of Damian and uh, making sure you have enough bodies? Okay. That. See how the week goes here. Where's Toon's growth been the most from training camp to today? Production in practice, um, the amount of reps that he's getting, playing faster, operating uh, with a little better handle on the offense, as you would expect for a quarterback to do, the more reps he gets. So uh, excited to see him out there practice today. How do you plan on uh, giving up the reps between Kyler and Toon? Got a good plan. They'll all, they'll all practice. Tune, I'm guessing there's a lot to find out. What do you feel like you know right now for sure with Tune? He's going to go in there if he's in there and let it rip. How was Kyler this morning just knowing this week he could possibly be back? Awesome. Fired up, ready to go. With a guy like, with a guy he was like really Clayton. good in the team meeting today. I put him on a spot. He was excellent. With a, with a guy like Clayton and a, and a rookie, how, do you, how does a coach kind of bring that – kid along. I mean, there's so many other rookies that they get a chance to do something, special teams or whatever, whereas mm -hmm. if you're a quarterback, yeah. you're really waiting. For That's a good question. I think, you know, Drew and Iz have done a great job with them as far as, you know, you, those guys have to spend a little extra time. Um, he does things behind the scenes with those guys that get some um, mental reps and, you know, the communication standpoint of it, even just learning football. You know what I mean? Different Defense is different. NFL is different than college. So, you know, things that, you know, Kyler might know, Clayton might not know. You know what I mean? So um, it's just, you know, educational pieces and working with them, schematics, techniques, um, just talking ball a lot of times, you know. And um, he's really taken to that. The guy puts a lot into it. Can you share a little bit more about putting him on the spot and his, uh, the context of his reaction? No, I'm going to keep everything that I say in a team meeting between me, but he was good. You guys are also preparing for two quarterbacks, potentially. How, how do you yeah. go about that? Yeah, you got to have a couple plans, you know, three, really, Bo, honestly. Um, but uh, as the week gets going, we'll, you got to be able to adjust a little bit, and our guys know that, and uh, you got to be ready for what you can get on Sunday, so you got to do some work. Does, this, uh, does a game as a head coach in your hometown, does this mean anything more to you? It's the most important one because it's the next one. How many people are you asking? Don't know. I told him, don't bug me. <laughs> how, much more do you, me. how much more do you know about Tristan uh, since Monday? Yeah, we'll see as we get going through the week. You know what I mean? He's got a little nick on his, on his uh, leg, but uh, he's progressing well. And where, where's Kevin Strong and everything? Progressing well. He'll be out there today. What, uh, what, what do you hope to see from Kyler this week? Uh, more of the same thing as last week. Uh, from a personal standpoint, I mean, we all got to know Josh a little bit better than as yeah. well as it, And you did probably better than everybody else. But just on that end of it, you know, you, you used to having to let players go. How different or difficult was this one? Just saying goodbye. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that's a really good question. It, hard. You know, there's a, you know, I, I think at times that I'm empathetic, you know, hopefully I'm always empathetic and understand that he put a lot into this getting here, um, helped us, you know, win a game, be in games. I mean, the amount of prep that he went through getting here a little bit late, right before the season, he's an ultimate pro, you know, he takes the arrow in the forehead. Um, he produced for us, so it's hard, you know what I mean? But I do feel like, and that's what I told him, and, I, and you know, with, with the situation that he got to go to, I think it was the best for both sides, truthfully, and, and he appreciated that. So um, I'm, I'll always be a fan. I said I hope our paths cross again sometime. But uh, he was really a joy to be around, truthfully, as a head coach, and as your quarterback for however many games he played. It was, it was a really cool experience for me, too. James Conner coming along as he gets Excellent, closer. excellent. I think he's getting faster. <laughs> they're doing a good. They're doing a good job with him rehabbing him, but uh, he's he's uh, he's getting ready to go, and uh, he's excited to get back when he can get back and play. What do you think it means? <coughs> Excuse me. For like, wait. <coughs> the 
you think it means for like St. Ignatius, your hometown, that you're coming home to be one of 32 to be head coach? Mm, they're state? playing Camp McKinley in the playoffs, so I don't really think they care. <laughs> I know that because I talked to the head coach, making sure that the schedule was set because we got a little something going on over there. But uh, he's focused on his ball club, not me. How much does that mean for you to just be able to do something like that? Oh, it would be cool. You know, I, when we went to Washington on a two-day trip, we did the mock game at uh, Georgetown Prep, which is where Michael went. Uh, I got some close buddies that went there. Um, so it was cool to see where they went to high school, things like that. But uh, um, it'll be cool. It'll be a little chilly out. But uh, it's a really good facility. Um, our guys will enjoy it. Would you put uh, Miles Garrett in that war daddy class? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's a good player, really good player. But uh, their whole defense, I mean, you know, Coach Schwartz is one of the best to ever do it. Um, they're fast, aggressive. They got really good players on all three levels. They, they're connected with how they play because it's a little bit different style than ours. Um, but uh, they're, they're one of the top defenses in the NFL. We got a big, uh, big challenge ahead. How was the first Halloween in the desert? Uh, I didn't enjoy it working. I don't even know if the kids went trick-or-treating, honestly. <laughs>